Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got a update on my little quest to actually paint all the stuff I have started on my workbench. And it's going pretty good. I got a couple of sessions to get some of this stuff worked on. Here's the uh, brain coral from uh, my Fractal Forest collection. I've printed and painted this one many times. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorites. It's just black and white. It's simple. It shows off all the detail. And they come through great on these resin printers. I printed this one a lot on FDM. Here's a similar treatment, but uh, one layer or a couple light layers of this iridescent paint I got. Magic Dust. Vallejo Magic Dust. It's pretty subtle, but it's cool. It does shift from like a, this one shifts from like a copper to a purple. Purple's not really showing up on camera. So those are done. A couple more that are done from the Fractal Forest, the nubbins, nubbin tree. I'm not going to get too close to this one. I don't want you to see my horrible sloppy highlights. I mean, I did these ones sloppy on purpose, but not as sloppy as I got with these. I'm horrible with these little tiny things. I love the colors on this, though. I've all sorts of greens and purples and oranges and who knows how many washes I've been experimenting with the uh, uh, game what is it Arm, army painter quick shade set after using the strong tone so much this blue ones there's quite a bit of that blue on there that's the other one these ones are gonna fit right in with all the other crazy colors I got on that see look at this I don't even hit that nub with that highlight. Jeez. That's why I print all my stuff at 150%. <laughs> Usually. <clears throat> these were all test prints for the Kickstarter. So these are done as well. Um, these lichen. This is actually a fractal shape as well. I love the colors on this one. The orange. Real dark purple in the crevices and then orange and yellow dry brushing probably another wash on top of that this side the colors are not as I'm not as happy with these but it looks cool this is a good contrast I should have done green on the other side like I was gonna purple's kind of shocking which is cool and oh this one's done too another fractal forest one i've been trying to get these all painted just a few more done to get done this is like a clown version of one of the fractals <laughs> might have a hundred tiny little space clowns curl out of here that clown spaceship this one like a lot of my stuff <laughs> lately is just like base color wash and a lot of different dry brushing these things have so much detail on them that the dry brush is the best way to get it all, especially for me. I, I did a little bit of edge highlighting here and there. Pretty cool. I like the colors on this one, even if they're really bright. I've struggled until recently to get enough color on my model, so I'm kind of celebrating by overdoing it on some of this. This guy is probably done except for the base. I just printed this flaming skull as a like a quick test print to show my brother my printer but it's actually a pretty cool model just a few different colors highlights I like it I missed a spot on the supports <clears throat> a lot of times I can't see the, these as well until I get them on camera scary looking at them close up <laughs> okay that's the all the ones that are finished i'm not going to call him finished finished yet i need to finish that base all right what else do we got i actually worked on a lot of the stuff on the workbench at least a little bit these squigs are coming along great i love these things uh if you search for bipedal trash compactor on thingiverse you should find them just getting ready to do all their tongues. So much detail in all these, and they're all so different. I think there's 13 of them. 
more base coat, sloppy wash, and dry brush. It's like my go-to now on anything that's organic. I mean, look at all that free detail and stuff in there. It looks great. I love these models. <laughs> Having fun with those. Uh, here's a Tiger Skull RPG Teeth Terror, I think it's called. Um, and it was started out with just a regular from the top highlights, and now I'm experimenting with some different colored undercoats. Uh, I read, I saw a tip a while back about putting like hot pink under yellow to get a, a nice rich yellow, and I tried it out on this model, and it worked great. You can kind of see the pink on the bottom of her dress down there. Um, so I'm experimenting with some other color combinations, see what happens. <laughs> Here's another of this owl bear. Got some crazy cartoon colors. These will mostly disappear later. I would like to make them a little more colorful than you normally see. Oh shit, this is already taking longer than I figured it would, but anyway, here's another piece. And I'm working on one of the last of the fractal forest pieces I haven't painted more airbrush practice here too got a new airbrush compressor and this was the first thing i tried on it just laying down some more garish colors <laughs> i'm so used to painting these fractals like bone color or copper or something monochrome i thought it'd be fun to splash out and put more color on them and here's more color on this uh, giant jag that I printed on my Ender 3. I'm going to have fun with the dry brush in here. I'll probably pick up a lot of these layer lines, but I don't really care on this model because it's all lines and deep, heavy lines anyway. Probably look cool. I guess that's it. I did paint that little blue belt on her this these tiny I mean I even printed this at 150 percent and it's it's just barely big enough for me to hope to paint it well <laughs> still afraid of the face but I'm learning getting braver uh, speaking of getting brave I don't know what to do with these ships um, they're so small I just I saw somebody talking about fleet scale ships uh, online and I wanted to see what they look like I thought a table full of these would be fun to play around with but man I don't know how I'm gonna paint these things I guess none of the other stuff I got to is plenty of stuff to get to and this has been this is great so far it's really kind of motivated me to get through this stuff and I'm already having fun so that's a good sign thanks for watching and I'll give you an update in another week or so Later.